All right then gang, so we're now successful in listing out these different blog posts from our Redux state. But if we click on one of these, then we still get that dummy content. And ideally we wanna tackle this problem so that we receive the actual data from the state, again, instead of that JSON fake REST API. So what we'll do is go over to our individual blog post component, and you can see we're getting that data over here because we're sending out a request using Axios to get the posts and the ID. Now, when we click on one of these things right here, we still have IDs associated to these, and you can see them in the top over here. This one's three. So it's going out and it's requesting that from JSON placeholder. So what we want to do is instead connect this component to our Redux store and get that individual record or post to show that on the page instead of this stuff. So again, let's delete the component did mount. We don't need that anymore and the state. Let's get rid of both of those. Now then, we've already seen how we can connect a component to Redux. We just import, first of all, connect from, and then it's react hyphen Redux. And then down here, we want to use that higher order component. It's a function which returns a higher order component and wraps our post component. Then we need to create the function to map our state to props. So we'll say const and then map state to props. We're taking the state right here. And inside that function, this is where we want to grab that single individual record. Now, how can we do that? Well, right here, we can take a second parameter. And I'm going to call this own props. And this refers to the props of this component right here before we attach the additional props from the Redux store. So our own props right here, they are going to contain information about the route and we can grab the ID from the route. Then what we can do is use the ID to find the particular blog that we want to connect to from the state on the store. Does that make sense? So first of all, let's use those props to grab the ID. So I'll say let ID equal to own props then dot match, then dot params. And this is where we get information about the route parameters. Remember, we covered those in a previous tutorial. The route parameter that we want is called post ID. And remember, it's called that because inside our app.js right here, we call it post ID right here when we set up the route. So we're grabbing that right now, whether it's one, two or three, and we're storing it in this ID over here. So now we have it, what we can do is return the object. And remember inside here is what we want to apply to our props for this component. We want an individual post, and that is gonna be equal to the state that we receive from the Redux store, this thing, yeah? Dot posts, then what we want to do is find one individual post. So we'll use the find method to do that. This is a normal JavaScript method. Now inside here, what we're gonna do is check if the post that ID is equal to the ID of these things right here. So this is gonna cycle through the posts on the state object, and it's gonna look at the ID of each one. And if that ID matches this one, if that is true, then it's gonna return us that post because that's what we want. So this function takes the individual post as a callback, then inside we're just returning post.id is equal to the ID. So this is a function it's the same thing as this we've done previously, you know, where you put your parentheses and then the curly braces, and then we return this kind of thing right here, then close the curly braces. That might look more familiar to you. I've just done a shortened version right here, and you can do that when you just have one line to return. So let's get rid of that again, move it up here, and get rid of that, get rid of the closing curly brace, and then just use the arrow that is the same thing. We're just returning this result right here. So if this is true, then we're gonna return that post and it's gonna be stored right here, okay? So now we have that, what we could do is get that right here. So instead of saying post is equal to this.state.post, now it's gonna be equal to this.props.post because we've attached that post object to the props now. So let's save it and view this in a browser. And let me go back and click on one of these. And you can see right here, it says loading post. So obviously something's not working. And that is because stupidly, we've not passed this thing 
into the connect function. So remember always to pass your map state to props into the connect function. Otherwise, this thing right here is not going to know what data to retrieve. And this function is just going to sit around in virtual space doing nothing. So let's save that and check it out again. And this time we get an error, okay? This.state.post.title. So we're trying to access the post at the minute in the template from the state. So let us instead say this.props.post.title. And again, down here, we want this.props.post.body. All right, that's everything, I think. So let's save that now and view in a browser. And this time we get the data that we want. So if we go back to the home page and click on a different one, Squirtle laid an egg, awesome. Homepage and this one, sweet. Okay, so this is all working now, my friends. We've connected this post details component to our Redux store using this, and we've found that individual post that we want using the find method and using the route parameter right here, ID, and we've applied that to a post object on our props, so then we can use that post object on our props right here to output the data to the screen.